let's see, as of today, 32.4 million users. So there's 32.4 million people using the Causes application specifically um, to do things on Facebook. And they've created uh, over 166,000 different causes. So a cause is basically anybody can start a cause for anything they believe in. I could walk to the computer right now in about two seconds, create a cause that says, I heart that square Tuesdays. And it would be awesome. And I could invite all my friends. I could designate that square as the beneficiary. And in about three minutes, I could have this entity with its own URL that I could start inviting people to. I could start posting the link all over. And there's all sorts of tools that are built into that cause to help me raise money for this cause, to help me get the word out about it. There's all sorts of promotional tools and things. So we'll go into that a little bit, kind of what features are in a cause. Um, but, How many people have started? So, yeah, so anybody can create a cause, and an individual can and designate any registered nonprofit to be the beneficiary of their cause. Um, so, that's how it works for an individual. For a nonprofit, it's a little bit different. So, here you have anybody able to create a cause and designate your nonprofit. That's kind of scary, and it's a very new model of, you know, sort of distributed control because what if somebody creates a cause for your nonprofit and it's not from you and it's very crazy. So we try to give uh, nonprofits sort of uh, a control and also just sort of unique tools to be able to sort of maximize and harness this crazy mass of 32.4 million people. Um, so let's see. So there, but I'll back up a, a little bit and say that there. So there's 166,000 different causes. The causes are about everything from breast cancer awareness to stopping the genocide in Darfur to support my local elementary school. Uh, they can be very local, they can be very large, and there's tools in there for everything. Um, and so far, about $4.86 million has been donated to causes. Um, the fundraising capabilities have just been started to be beefed up, so uh, we're all still sort of learning the message, uh, the lessons about how do you fundraise using this thing uh, when, we've, when we're creating new tools all the time. So as Rachel said, it's sort of hard to keep up because we launched with this very basic functionality of cause, you can join, you can donate, that's it, and now we're sort of building up and there's lots of cool things that you can do with it. And so, um, yes. Thank you. Remind me of that if I don't know. So, um, yeah, there's a new yeah. so, um, so there's all these causes, and then as a nonprofit, what we allow you to do is uh, you have a nonprofit profile. Um, and to create your nonprofit profile, that's where your sort of official information comes in. So I can start a, uh, a cause, and um, when I designate your nonprofit, it'll automatically be linked. So um, to sign up as a nonprofit partner and to create your profile, what you do is go to causes.com slash partners slash new. I should type that somewhere, but I can But so, um, and that creates your nonprofit profile, and then it also gives you access to this dashboard that you log in and you can track all the causes that benefit your nonprofit, and you can track donors, and you can download the donor contact information. So whenever anybody donates, they can click to give you their contact information too. So we provide a nice little file that you can download into Excel really easily. So uh, that's sort of the basic structure of causes. There's causes, there's nonprofit profiles, and then there's this little tool called a dashboard that's available just to nonprofits. Um, so, <coughs> if you had a question. Uh, quick, quick question, question just to understand the, the, the numbers you shared. You said $4 million has been raised roughly? Yeah, 4.86. I would say so 5 million roughly, and there's about 34 million users yes. of causes? How, how, what's, the, what's the breakdown of the number of causes that generated that five million dollars. That's a great call. So there's actually um, a number of causes that don't uh, have a nonprofit associated with it at all. Uh, we call those awareness causes. So let's sure. say I just want to create a cause that says stop using plastic bags. So that's actually one of our biggest uh, awareness causes. It's called drop a plastic bag. And there's no nonprofit associated with it, and it's not raising any money, but it's got, gosh, I don't know, about two hundred thousand people in it. Um, so there's things like that too. So those numbers are a little bit misleading, and I might have to get the exact one to you later. But uh, gosh, about half of causes are awareness causes. So and many of them are kind of starting over time. So I'm not sure the exact number. <laughs> no, no problem. Um, it's just an important number to understand. Yeah. I think another thing that's useful for context is that um, you've spoken about this before. That when causes started. Um, your internal goal was to the user base, not necessarily, not necessarily to start out by raising a giant pilot for nonprofits. 
Um, so you focus on building out a large user base. Like, 